Hello neighbor, I'm Robert Burns and welcome again to another edition of Sound Off Louisiana and I am very excited to bring to you what we will be scrolling out as a series of uh, episodes that are all going to focus on a brand new uh, creation that we're making and we're calling it the Republican Wall of Shame. Uh, now as most of you know, uh, my blog Sound Off Louisiana uh, is, is dedicated exclusively to state governmental issues. Uh, with a little bit of municip municipality issues like we mixed in for Dr. Pat Cooper at the municipal level, but I, don't, I typically don't touch the national uh, issues. There's plenty other, plenty other avenues for that. Uh, so what we are going to be doing, you will remember that we created the NoPennyRenewal.com website, and I'm happy to say it has been updated to reflect every member uh, of the House of Representatives who voted for that measure uh, either on February 28th or on the second vote on March the 4th. Uh, that's nopennyrenewal.com. Uh, it is completely up to date uh, because obviously it will be coming back into focus as the next special session comes uh, after this regular session of the legislature. But we, will, we are going to, going forward, as most of you know, uh, C.B. Fergoston, the late C.B. Fergoston, was uh, the inspiration that caused me to form this blog. C.B. Fergoston was famous for tracking votes, uh, and we're going to take a page out of his book, except we're going to enhance it a little bit. Uh, we're going to begin issuing what, are, what will be called Republican Walls of Shame, and, and it's going to be on votes that have taken place in the legislature that we believe are particularly egregious votes, one of which we will be profiling in just a moment uh, that took place last or within the last week or so. Uh, and uh, what you're going to see is those Republicans uh, who voted in a manner that we don't believe is consistent uh, with advocating for small business. Uh, and we will also be having, although the, every single Republican wall of shame, and I'm going to put that up on the screen right now, Republican wall of shame, and we're going to use the acronym RWS. Now, why are we doing that? As I told you about C.B. Fergonston's blog, one of the frustrating things is it would scroll off and you couldn't easily find it. If you go to the search bar for Sound Off Louisiana, if you go to the search feature on your iPhone, it will just there'll be the little search there, and you can just put in the, the phrase. Obviously, on a desktop, uh, you can just put it in the the search category. And if you have an iPad, uh, if it's not showing, if you turn it sideways and release the lock bar, uh, you will see that search feature. Uh, and all you got to do is put in RWS. We're putting it on the screen right now. That's Republican Wall of Shame because we are going to use that acronym uh, for doing each edition of these Republican Walls of Shame, the first of which is today. Now, each one will be accompanied by a Democratic Wall of Praise. Now, we expect the number of Democrats uh, who would be worthy of the praise on a particular vote is likely going to be far smaller. Uh, and, and such will be the case. You'll see that in just a moment on our first, wall, our first wall of shame for the Republicans. What each feature will do, we will tell you the, the item, the particular item in question uh, that we're doing the Republican wall of shame for. And then we and give you a link to the digest version of the bill. Uh, and then thereafter that, we're going to give you the basis for why this vote should be a a, uh, a shameful act on the part of any conservative business Republican. And today's vote is going to entail House Bill 491, House Bill 491 of this current legislative session. What that bill calls for is a 40% increase in the licensing fee for licensed cosmetologists. All right, let me repeat that. A 40% licensing fee for the licensed cosmetologists. The fiscal note on the bill showed that it would generate about $420,000 a year. Uh, and we're, I'm not going to go off and list all of the corruption uh, that entails the State Board of Cosmetology. I'm not going to stand up in front of you and give it all, but we're going to give you links. So that will form the basis of why we deem this to be a shameful vote by these Republicans. Uh, now, the bill did not pass on its first go-round because it is a fee increase and therefore it is required that two-thirds of the legislature, each, each branch of the legislature pass it, and then of course it has to be signed by the governor. Uh, if it makes it over to the Senate, you can forget it, it's all over with. Uh, if, it, if it clears out of the House, ball game's over. 
Uh, the vote, there were 61 votes in favor uh, of that measure, and that is an embarrassment. It should be an embarrassment to any small conservative business Republican because there were 26, hear what I'm saying, there were 26 Republicans who voted in favor of that measure, notwithstanding all of the corruption links that we're going to give you, notwithstanding that this is a board that is adamantly opposed to allowing hair braiders to practice with no license. When you see all of the corruption that I have outlined out, and I'm not going to stand in front of the camera because I want to make this a short video, you can own, clearly, Either these Republican candidates who voted for this, either they endorse that kind of corruption and incompetence, or they're ignorant. Okay, one of the two. And I want to say one thing. The vast majority of no votes that uh, were recorded for that bill, I'm happy to say though, many of those legislators I'm Facebook friends with. And so they will have seen all of the sound off Louisiana post that I've made with regard to the cosmetology board. And I think it had its impact. There were 34 uh, members of the legislature who voted against the bill. Now, we're not, we're not just going to give you the name. Sure, we're going to give you the vote and we're going to give you the highlighted Republicans who voted in favor of the bill. But I'm a big believer in name face association. So beyond what CB used to do, which was a simple itemization of the names, we're going to give you their photos, or I like to call it a mugshot in this case. So I'm about to read off to you the 26 Republicans who went along with this. Uh, and then we'll, I'll tell you why uh, the timing of this is what it is in just a moment. But the 26 Republicans include, just one second here, it went off the screen for me, uh, House Speaker Taylor Barra. And I mean, that is extremely disappointing that the most prominent Republican serving in the House, none other than the House Speaker, Taylor Barra, would vote to support this measure. We also have Representatives Bacala, Berthelot. Now, let me say this. The next one is Terry Brown. And I want to say this. There are three independents in the legislature. Uh, so we're going to profile them, even though they may not be Republicans, either in part of the wall of shame or the wall of praise, whichever is applicable. As I said, there are three that are independents. You're going to see two of them profiled in the wall of shame, even though they're not actual Republicans. Uh, and then you're going to have one who will be in the Democratic wall of praise, even though uh, he is not a Democrat. But I just wanted to explain that. It's not that I'm not aware of what party they're in. Terry Brown is an independent. The same will be true of uh, Representative Marino. Uh, so I'm going to read these again and just bear in mind Terry Brown and uh, Representative Marino uh, are both independents, but we're lumping them on in as honorary Republicans to join the other 24 actual Republicans into this wall of shame. So let's read them again. None other than House Speaker Taylor Barra, Representatives Bacala, Berthelot, Terry Brown, Steve Carter, Cheney, Cromer, Davis, Foyle, Lance Harris, very disappointing vote there, Havard, Hazel, Hilferty, Hoffman, Hollis, Huval, Leopold, McGee, Marino, remember he's independent, McFarlane, Pearson, Shake Snyder, boy is he turning out to be a complete and total disaster, Stagney, Stokes, Tebow, and Zerang. So those are your 24 Republicans and the two honorary Republicans, the independents, who have been lumped into the wall of shame. The, the corresponding Democratic wall of praise, there's only going to be one, one member of that. But we are very thankful for Marcus Hunter, who joined and voted no. He is a Democrat, but he is being singled out into the Democratic wall of praise because we're going to do more than just shame Republicans. We will also praise Democrats when they make uh, votes of this nature because we're very thrilled. Probably, I would guess, Representative Hunter knows a little bit more about the Cosmetology Board than many of these so-called conservative Republicans. Thank you, Representative Hunter, for your vote on House Bill 491. Uh, by the way, the author of 491 is Robert Johnson. We'll put him, he'll be highlighted as, as the author of the bill, even though he doesn't he won't fit on either one of the two walls because uh, he's not a Republican, therefore, in the wall of shame, and he's not a Democrat who would have voted uh, no, thereby earning a Democratic wall of praise. But he's the author of the bill, so he will be the profile feature 
Uh, he will be the profile picture because he deserves special recognition uh, for having authored this bill. So you only have one Democratic wall of praise, that being Marcus Hunter. Again, thank you, Marcus Hunter. Uh, and then uh, D. Richard, who is an independent, uh, who also voted no. Um, the rest of the no votes are, are, are going to be, dem uh, I'm sorry, Republicans who are pretty, pretty, pretty steady. Uh, and we're certainly thankful for those. You're going to see some names on there that you, don't, you really don't have to worry about. You're going to see the whole list of names, but, uh, you know, names like Edmondson, Miguez, Seaball, those are all solid, reliable uh, folk. Uh, and we certainly uh, want to give them the praise and admiration they deserve. Of course, you don't show up on the wall. Uh, if you don't show up on the wall, it means you, you weren't in this Republican Hall of Shame. Uh, this is the first edition. We're going to periodically do this when we see votes that need to be called out. Uh, and the reason we're doing this one in the time fashion that we are is because this bill did fail. It only got 61 votes. Because it is a fee increase, it requires two-thirds of the House, which would be 70 votes. You can do the math, 70 votes, it got 61, it fell nine short. But if you're not familiar with this, uh, the author of the bill has a right to have it for reconsideration. Uh, he has exercised that right, uh, and the bill will be up for a second vote on Tuesday, April the 17th. Of the that vote, the reconsideration vote, will take place on Tuesday, April the 17th. We are hoping that, and you may feel free, you're going to have the contact information uh, for these Republicans who have earned their way into the first edition of the Wall of Shame. We are hoping that they can see the corruption that has exists on this board. Nobody questions it. Nobody's going to question what I have put out there. It's all fact-based, all right? Substantiated by video or just proven documented facts, okay? It's important to me that things do be factual. Uh, and we are hoping that we can swing some of these votes. And certainly, we hope that none of the no votes somehow, they got to get nine of them, either between the crew that voted no or those who didn't vote. I can tell you there are a few names on there on, on the didn't vote category that are of concern. Let me just put it that way. They must believe they're getting close to that magic number of nine. And we are believing that that needs to be thwarted because this cosmetology board, number one, has been corrupt to the core. You'll see all the links. Number two, they have fought economic prosperity by way of actively fighting uh, things like the hair braiding bill. Uh, and number three, this, these costs have to be passed on, 400 and something thousand dollars. How's it gonna be passed on? You're gonna pay higher prices uh, for the services that these boards regulate uh, and they're keeping people out of the business so they're doing nothing but uh, raising your prices. So this is edition one of the Republican Wall of Shame. We, we, when we have another vote we deem worthy of this, they'll come periodically, we'll give you addition to. Remember, in order to see all of these Republican walls of shame, just go into the search bar and type in the acronym RWS. We're putting it on the screen once again, RWS, which is short for Republican Wall of Shame. Thank you so much. This is Robert Burns. Hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend and that you found a way to stay dry. Thank you again.